The mystery surrounding what happened to American student Otto Warmbier in North Korea, seen here playing in the snow with children in Pyongyang, is deepening. Tonight, American officials say they are no closer to knowing what led the 22-year-old, who was arrested and held by the brutal regime of Kim Jong-un for stealing a sign in a hotel, to suffer brain damage. What's happened to him is a truly terrible thing. But at least the ones who love him so much can now take care of him and be with him. Warmbier's doctors say they found no evidence to support North Korea's claim he contracted botulism in captivity before being returned to the U.S. on Tuesday. His doctors say he's unresponsive, that he's lost much of his brain tissue due to cardiopulmonary arrest, and that two brain scans sent by Pyongyang suggest he's been in this vegetative state for at least 14 months. The earliest images are dated April 2016. Based upon our analysis of those images, the brain injury likely occurred in the preceding weeks. Experts say while they're surprised North Korea would allow an American being held to reach such critical condition, they say mistreatment in North Korean jails is not uncommon. We know that they apply very brutal treatment, torture, beating, rape to their own people and also to foreigners who are held in custody. All of a sudden, he was thrown into this hellhole. So anything is uh, possible. He could have suffered shock when he was sentenced to hard labor. He could have been uh, beaten. Um, he could have um, tried to take his own life. I, whatever the circumstances, it is likely the result of the fact that the North Koreans put him in this situation. Another key question, why did Kim's regime keep Warmbier's condition a secret for so long? Perhaps they waited, hoping that he would uh, come out of the coma. He didn't. Eventually, they panicked. Pressed by CNN, U.S. officials are not commenting tonight on how they might retaliate for the return of a 22-year-old American in this condition. I think this will um, put uh, pressure on the administration to be more supportive of uh, tougher human rights sanctions and to um, not wait so long for the Chinese. I think this puts the monkey back on the back of the administration. Tonight, even as America contemplates what it will do in the Warmbier case, a prominent American reality star is being wined and dined by the North Korean regime. Former NBA star Dennis Rodman arrived in Pyongyang on Tuesday. U.S. national security officials say the visit is not on behalf of the U.S., and Rodman says he is there to promote sports. The former star of President Trump's show Celebrity Apprentice. Dennis, you're fired. Presented North Korean officials with a copy of Trump's book, The Art of the Deal.